Hi guys. How are you all today morning? Good morning. Today is 22nd January 2021. My name is T S V Raghavan and I live in Chennai Tamil Nadu India This is my spiritual vlog on YouTube Har Dan H A R D A N Har Dan Hari Bol T R S V Nectar N E C T A R Nectar In this particular vlog in all my previous videos we have been trying to discuss about the knowledge and information that we have gleaned through the study of spiritual books scriptures contemplation on this material universe and meditation on the spiritual universe this particular video in this blog is no exception to that rule in fact it is a mere continuation of all that we have been trying to do in all of my previous videos kindly subscribe to this vlog and press the bell icon so that i may keep reminding you of all my previous present and future videos so let us continue with the topic of discussion for today's video in the past few videos during our discussion about the workings of a term called mind in the psyche of any human living entity whether male or female in this society in one lifetime in the material world we took up a particular case history of a person called Henry Sherrier the author of an autobiographical novel called Papillon of this person was a member of the fringe of the Parisian underworld in the beginning decade and the second decade of the 20th century we discussed and or we have already discussed about the happenings and life of this particular person or case history called Henry Sherrier in my past few videos from today 
we shall try to discuss about why his mind worked the way it did despite being from very different backgrounds himself now we will begin this discussion we all know about a term called sanchit karma in the life of every human living entity whether male or female this sanchit karma is nothing but a storage of the unworked karma of the same living entities during their past births this storage is used for working out all the karma stored in that sanchit karma by the same living entity during his or her rebirth this he or she does by taking a slice out of this storage called sanchit karma to lay a foundation for his or her next birth in this society in a lifetime now we will take our favorite case history called henry sherrier we will begin with his prarabdha karma or that slice of sanchit karma which was laid as a foundation for his birth in the province of ardesh in france in a family of school teachers both his father and his mother were school teachers not only this but his father participated as a soldier in the first world war in favor of france and he was honorably discharged when he was in year in that first world war such excellent war henry sherrier's credentials based on his own prarabdha karma that is thanks to his prarabdha karma he was born into a very respectable intellectually inclined educated family of school teachers not only that he was blessed with two very loving caring and doting sisters so all was well for henry sherrier when he was born this prarabdha karma continued when his own mother and two sisters pampered him silly as a result of which slowly steadily but surely he turned into a spoiled brat this prarabdha karma continued till the day when his own loving mother 
died of some illness when he was just 12 years old from here everything took a turn for the better or the worse this was like two paths leading in two different ways now here we will come across a particular term called free will or kriyaman karma kriyaman karma is the way any living entity uses his or her free will to grapple with his or her lifetime or life here we do not know which path hendra ishiyar took we also do not know whether this path was based on his own foundation of prarabdha karma or kriyaman karma nevertheless the death of his doting mother made this spoiled brat a still incorrigible youngster it made him feel jealous of all those children who were his own contemporaries contemporaries in his locality and school whose mothers were alive and who spent every saturday along with their respective mothers this made every career jealous no end suppose we consider this just an offshoot from his own prarabdha karma the fact remains that even if he was jealous of them does not mean that he should have been vindictive and physical about it here we feel that without his knowing it his free will and kriyaman karma took over this henry sharier became a very vicious quarrelsome and violent especially towards those other children towards whom he nursed a deeply seated animosity initially children stayed to defend themselves from his unexpected and unfounded rage but yet the things came to her head when he stabbed another child in his heart with a geometry box compass this certainly was kriyaman karma however this act of henry sharier intrigues us we are led to believe that there was something in his own prarabdha karma which made him use his kriyaman karma or free will 
to stab that boy. Probably his destiny was already designed for Henry Sharia. As a first step, thanks to this free will of stabbing that boy, the same Henry Sharia who had been born and brought up in a very respectable, educated, middle-class family, landed up as an inmate of the juvenile delinquency school in Ardèche, France. This shows that probably this guy's prior destiny was trying to work in favor or against him. From now on, his Kriyaman karma took over. This guy, as expected, had a very hard time in that juvenile delinquency school, which made him more and more incorrigible, indisciplined, and brattish, so much so that he had to be sent to the French Navy. Here we should remember that his own father had been honorably discharged from the French Defence Forces after he got injured in the First World War. Probably Henry Sharia's Prarabdha Karma included this phase of life too. Just like his father, he also had to join the defense forces, especially Navy. The only difference was that while his father joined the same defense forces as an ordinary soldier, Henry Sherrier was forced to the French Navy thanks to his delinquency. Here his hard times worsened or continued to such an extent that he was ultimately dishonorably discharged from the same French Navy, unlike his own father who had been honorably discharged after he got injured in the First World War. This shows that the Kriyaman Karma of Henry Sharia had gone full bloom. His own Prarabdha Karma would never have expected him to be so dishonorably discharged. But even here, we are left intrigued. Probably this guy's prarabdha karma and destiny had something in store for this guy. Henry Sharia came back home, applied for the postmaster's job, got duly qualified and in fact was celebrating a party 
for the success as a postmaster in France in Ardèche when the French police forces came to him and told him that just because he was a juvenile delinquent and had been dishonorably discharged from the navy so he was banned to take up this postmaster's job which is a government job this left henry sherrier high and dry probably destiny would it likewise probably some of his past unworked prarabdh karma was working against him as a result of which even his kriya manak karma in this lifetime guided him towards such an unenviable situation from here things get serious henry sherrier again was in cross roads either as an electrician for which he was qualified he could have started his own job as a successful artisan in the same ardesh or he could have done what he did when he was given the bad news that he could never hold a government job instead of remaining in ardesh as a successful electrician artisan and businessman henry sherrier used his own kriya man karma to gravitate towards paris which is the capital of france even in paris this guy had the right to choose a legal profession and a life but this guy chose the illegal dark negative forces of the parisian underworld this resulted in his coming to the parisian underworld we shall continue with this particular story in my next video kindly let me know what you think of my talk on this particular case history please give me your own expert views thoughts ideas and opinions so that i may blend everything together for the sake of this society till we meet in my next video it is good morning from tsv ragwan